Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management. And of course, that's spelled P-A-Y-N-E, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and yes, is my dad, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, dad. What's shaking during this uh, ongoing quarantine? I mean, every week, it's just one week after another, they all start to look the same. Well, they do, Ryan. I, I called our landlords and said, you know, we don't really need this office any longer, but somehow they convinced me we did. I'm, I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> we need a place for our plants to die because that's all that's happening in our offices right now. I know, our poor plants. We nurtured those for years. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid to go back to the office and see what state they're in. Um, but yeah, certainly uh, not doing a lot of business from the office these days. Well, the good news is we have the internet and, uh, you know, we have uh, Zoom. We're able to see each other. Can't wait till we can get together again. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I agree with you. But in the meantime, Pain Capital Management is in action. Uh, That's and true. we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about the right questions. Bob and I are going to break down the critical questions you need to be asking yourself right now to build a secure long-term retirement plan. We're going to talk about what the financial industry won't tell you about the upcoming recession. Given the current uncertainty around the economy, the financial markets, it's more important than ever that you build the right financial foundation. We're going to tell you how to do that, along with this week's financial propaganda. There's so much news out there that the media continually propagates. We're going to tell you what's the good news, bad news, so you can make good decisions. Along with our spotlight segment today, we have my brother, Bob's son, financial advisor at Payne Capital Management, Chris Payne on the show today. He's going to break down a real retirement plan for you. Hey, this is Ryan Payne. For all our podcast listeners right now, it's a crazy time. It's extremely volatile. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what should I be doing with my portfolio, my retirement plan? What changes should I be making? What we're offering right now, if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, put together our financial planning game plan. You simply need to go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. What we'll do is do a full analysis of all your portfolios, we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. We can start looking at all those critical things. You know, what kind of income are you generating? What kind of diversification do you have? What kind of protection do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break it all down for you. We're going to run some retirement projections, start looking at what you should be saving for retirement. What have you saved for retirement? When do you want to be financially independent? We're going to answer all those questions, put it together for you. We're going to do it for free. Simply go to www paincm.com slash game plan. That's www.paincm.com slash game plan. During these volatile times, wire quarantining, we'll build you that personalized portal. We'll figure out where you should be going, what changes you should be making to your portfolio. So take advantage of it. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. We'll put together a game plan for you today. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news, call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. And Bob, I mean, it's been another wild week on the street of dreams. You know, we've had a lot of big up and down days, less volatility than we saw last month, but a lot of uncertainty out there. So I'm just curious, you know, with all the news going back and forth between you and I. I mean, no one reads more than you and I. We'll probably read everything. Uh, what did you find this week that you think would be interesting to our listeners that we can, uh, we, can, we can wrap on for a little bit? Hey, Ryan, you know what I like about reading is because you learn a lot of lessons from what's written as opposed to what they're telling you. And you know, I read an article the other day. It was a great article about how the state of California and their pension fund is that they failed to fund the portfolio properly. And you wonder, well, you know, California is so big. How can that be a problem, right? They're collecting all kinds of taxes. You know, why would that ever be a problem? Well, the biggest problem is they still got to pay out every year, regardless of what the market does. And, you know, back in 2008, 2009, in order to make payments to the pension participants, they had to sell most of their Apple investment, which was probably $300, 400000000 million that would be worth almost $2 billion today. 
Yeah, and that's the thing. It's scary, right? This is a big institution uh, that's that's managing, again, billions upon billions of dollars, and they put themselves in a position which you never want to do. You never want to have to sell when you don't want to sell, right? You always want to sell when it, you're in what we would call pole position. And actually, it was a client that brought this article to my attention. I said, Bob, what does this mean? I said, well, it would be like you and I sitting down to do your financial plan, and I would promise you, you would have X amount of dollars a year after tax to live on. And then you'd go along, you know, really happy and, you know, thinking everything was fine. And then you retire. And I said, oh, sorry, there's no more money left. And I said, well, what happened to all the money I gave you? Well, I paid it out to you in income, like I promised. But, you know, you never invested any money because you didn't fund your retirement with enough money. So, yeah. you know, what it teaches me is that we don't want to be irresponsible like a state government. You got to be responsible for yourself. No, that's right. And I think figuring out what you need to spend in retirement, we talk about this all day on the show. It's, it's kind of our theme today is it's so critical you spend the right amount, right? You don't want to overspend so that when a market like this happens, you end up having to sell some of your higher quality investments when they're down just to supplement your lifestyle. Like you never want to be in that position. That's why like having that income plan, having safety in your portfolio, we always talk about having that high quality portfolio of bonds. Because now, even with the market's down, if you have those components in your portfolio, you can leave the assets that are down alone and you can touch them later when they finally rebound in price. I mean, that's the key of diversification and building yourself a, a pension-like portfolio for retirement. And you know, Ryan, that's, that's the lesson learned from this article is you need to know what you own and you need to know why you own it. So, Bob, I thought we could discuss the key questions you really need to be asking yourself right now to build a secure long-term retirement plan. And I think the first question really has to be, how long will your portfolio need to provide for you? That's a, it's a big question. Well, it's a great question, Ryan. And I'll tell you what, we have a lot of clients who are, you know, trust fund babies, as we call them. They, you know, they, they <laughs> came from wealthy families and very successful families and they had big trust funds. And the number one rule they were taught as children was what? Never touch the principal, <laughs> whatever you do. Right, live on the income. And I'll tell you what, that's a great rule of thumb. And I think all of us, as we build for retirement, whether in retirement, don't touch the principal. That's right. So it's all about having that income plan. And I think it's harder today than it was when, you know, your dad, my grandfather, dad planned for retirement. He didn't have to think about longevity the way we have to think about longevity today, because we're finding, especially with our client base, you could be retired for like 30 years. That's a long time to plan to have income coming in that you can live off of. And worse, you know, cost of living is going up over time. So not only to factor in longevity of income, but increasing income as well because cost of living keeps going up. Well, that's the great news, right? We're living longer. I mean, you have to put up with me a lot longer than you thought when you were born. I know you didn't know that, but, you know, we're, getting, we're healthier. We're wealthier as a country, even in spite of this pandemic. And the medical profession is doing an amazing job of keeping us alive longer. So plan to live longer. I don't care what your advisor is telling you, you're going to live longer. Exactly. Out of, five, out of five years, you know, our average portfolio, we plan for at least age 90 to live to. So that's the, the very least you need to be doing with your planning right now. The other thing you have to ask yourself right now is how do you establish a primary investment objective? You know, the worst thing about our industry, Bob, is everyone loves to tell you about all their great products they can put in your portfolio, but that's not really planning. That's not the best way to go about it. You know, Ryan, when I was young whip whippersnapper, how's that for a word? Uh, you know, when I started back in the industry in the 70s, you know, I really had a hard time with what we did for a living because I would invest people's money, tell them it was a good, good investment. And as soon as it went down, they would sell. Yeah, because like, why did you buy from me in the first place? Exactly. Like, you know, Bob, you told me this was good, but it went down. So obviously you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to go try something else. So what I found out was you know, there's no emotional attachment to an investment. In order for you to succeed as an investor, you need a portfolio where you invest on purpose, the purpose of retiring and achieving your goals. Yeah, we talk about this a lot, but it's really about reverse engineering your goals, right? I mean, you have to sit down and you have to look at things like, okay, when do I want to be financially independent? When do I want to retire? How many years is that? What kind of income am I going to need? When you know those questions or the answers to those questions, then you can go back and say, how do I build my portfolio? Our industry, Bob, is infamous for just wanting to sell you things up front without even establishing those goals first. And that's just like not the right way to do it. Yeah, that's what I really dislike about our industry, Rye. You know, we have a strategy, invest on purpose, you know, the purpose of achieving your goals. The rest of the industry has a purpose. They want to sell you their products where they make the most money. And it's more critical than ever right now, because right now with the market's down, 
you know, you might be thinking to yourself, maybe I get to the sidelines with, and go to cash and make some decisions later. And as we've learned through many bear markets like this, it's never the right decision. You need a plan that when things are down like this, it still makes sense. It's still accomplishing your goals. You know, right? every week you talk about the all weather portfolio. You know, with this volatility, I feel like I'm in a dinghy in a hurricane out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Things have been bouncing around like crazy. But then I look at my portfolio and my bonds are still paying their income. They're high quality. They're going to come due. I'm going to get all my money back. My growth portfolio is barely down for the year. So when you look at the volatility, it impacts different parts of the portfolio. When you talk about all weather, man, you really meant it. And yeah. I'm really happy we have that. <laughs> All weather is good and also an income plan, right? I mean, if you structure your portfolio properly, you just said it, you know, never touch the principal. Well, there's nothing I love more than bringing up a client's portfolio and showing them the income that's going to come in that year, no matter if it's a pandemic, the market's up or down, because their income needs don't go away. If that income is being generated to meet those needs, it's a lot easier to weather the storm. Well, you know, Rob, we use the A to B strategy, which is a very generic term, but it applies to each and every one of you because you're unique individuals. Your family has unique needs. And when we build that strategy, it's based on your goals and your dreams. Like you say, reverse engineer, work backwards and only take the risk you need. Why take more risk than necessary? Which goes to the next question. You know, what trade-offs might you need to make to meet your goals? And those trade-offs are risk reward, right? You know, you have to have some level of risk in your portfolio because you need growth over inflation and you can't get that without risk. But on the other hand, uh, you know, you can't take too much risk. And if this market isn't a good reminder that you need to have safety in your portfolio too, I don't know what is. Well, you know, Ryan, I'm really proud of the investing public. I think they learned a lot from 2008 and 2009. But there were still a lot of mistakes made. A lot of people invested in bond funds, which you know, you've warned them against over and over again. They reached for yield. But in general, I think most of us understand now that volatility, extreme volatility is temporary and our long-term goals are permanent. Yeah, exactly. They're not going to go away. At some point, the economy is going to recover. As you like to say, Bob, the world doesn't end very often. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, too, I need a portfolio. I need a game plan that's going to get me to my retirement goals, or if I'm retired now, going to keep me retired, well, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. We're doing everything virtually right now with video conferences. All you need to do is send your statements. We use a secure email to get all that data, and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. So while you're quarantined at home, you can get a bird's eye view of your entire net worth, and we can start making some good decisions about your retirement and your portfolio. We're gonna look at everything from income. Do you have an income plan for retirement? How are you gonna draw from your portfolio? We're gonna show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio and build an income plan where you can draw from your portfolio over the rest of your life. We're gonna look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard with all this market volatility? You probably did. We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio against the volatility of the markets. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's probably a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. A lot of those insurance products, annuities, mutual funds. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are, show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio, then optimize your portfolio for taxes. Everything from Roth conversions, tax-free income, tax swaps, everything you can do to optimize taxes. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan Utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, here's the time to call because you know what? You may not want to look at your portfolio, but we do because out of these bear markets, the best returns come for you as an investor, but we do. The best returns in history come out of bear markets just like the one we're in right now. All you have to do is pick up the phone or text or call. We're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over four decades? That's right. For almost 46 years, we've been helping families just like yours get to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692 or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. This is Bob Payne and I'm sitting here with my son, Rye Payne, at least virtually, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. 
It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I will make sure you're just getting good common sense advice for your planning and investing. And there's still a lot you can do to save on taxes for 2019 and 2020 because the tax dates have been pushed back. So we give you five ways to save on taxes for both years and some of the new laws through the SECURE Act that you can take advantage of. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. We give you a couple ways to save on taxes. Right now, with the market's being extremely volatile, it's a great time to optimize your portfolio for taxes. We give you a couple ways to do that. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, given the current uncertainty around the economy, the financial markets, it's more important than ever that you build what we would call the right financial foundation. And my fear right now is there's a lot of bad financial advice out there. So I thought we could talk about what you should be doing versus some of the advice out there that's not exactly very good. You know, I think it's like anything else. When you build a home, you have to have a great foundation because if you don't build the foundation properly, first hurricane or tornado or bad storm that comes along just blows away all your great work. So yeah. what in your mind is a good foundation? Well, I think first and foremost, you've got to start with the income plan. We talk a lot about the income plan and look, you're quarantined right now. There's no excuse not to work on your finances. And the first thing you have to determine is like, how much income are you going to need? Whether you're planning for retirement or financial independence, or if you're retired now, this is a great time to do it. And that's why we do our financial master plan because you have someone actually handhold you through the process. Because it isn't a lot of fun to go through these things, Bob, but that's like the first thing you need to do. Wait a minute, Rob. You're telling me why I'm quarantined, that I should work on my budget? That's like telling me I can't eat. I have to eat healthy while I'm stuck in these, in these times. The good news is, Bob, uh, because you're probably spending less because you're quarantined, the numbers aren't going to look as painful, no pun intended, as they probably normally would be. But that's what you got to determine first. And again, that's why we do our financial master plan just to get you through that process. All right. So once we set the point B, you know what your goals are, you know what your budget's going to be, you know what you need to make money for, right? In other words, you're, you need to know why you need to generate income, you know, because making money is not a goal, right? Retiring comfortably is a goal, you know, meeting your goals in terms of finances is a goal. So right, what are the sources of income that you generally see with a financial plan? Right. So now this is where you reverse engineer. We talked about this in the last segment, right? You know what your goals are, you know how much income you actually need, then it's looking at how do you generate that income. And I think right now it's a really dangerous time because there's a lot of bad actors out there that are pitching things that you probably don't want in your portfolio. And I mean, watch a lot of these financial shows, Bob, and they're talking about these annuities that give you an 8% credit, not an interest mm. rate, a credit. What the heck's a credit? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, well, that's the thing. I think you don't want to look for just yield. When you look at something and say, oh, I'm going to get the highest yield, because there's two parts of, of generating income, right? There's the return on your money, which is the yield, but it's return of your money. So what good is if you're getting eight to 10%, but you don't get your money back? It doesn't no, work out so well. That's exactly right. And that's where it's buyer beware here. You need to find out, like for instance, a lot of these annuities, uh, you have to give up your principal to get an income for life. That income for life sounds really sexy, but the truth is if you can't get your principal again, that's a very dangerous place to be in retirement, right? Having access to your principal, to your point, Bob, is just so, so critical, especially as you get closer to being dependent on your money. So, right, there are ways, like there are bonds that generate income, right? But then there's quality of bonds. Um, and then there's bo stocks that pay dividends. How do you know which is the right mix for you? That's why financial planning has to be so customized, because the reality of it is your needs are going to be completely different from you know, maybe your in-laws needs or your parents or your brother, or your sister. So you really have to determine for you what those numbers are, what that income stream has to be. And from a risk perspective as well, because the other thing is, it's not only about getting income, that income has to go up over time because the cost of living goes up over time. And we talked about this last segment as well, Bob, the biggest issue you have as a retiree today is longevity. Your money has to last a lot longer. So you're telling me that if you've done proper planning, then you have a strategy that was built to achieve all these goals. Well, when the market goes out and screws everything up, right, like by going down, it's not the time to put your head in the sand, is it? Now it's time to take action to get back to the, the point where you were in order to achieve your goals, right? So you have to adjust that strategy as time goes by. 
Yeah, there's no time to sharpen the saw like now, right? After we've seen a lot of volatility, a lot of uncertainty, it's the best time to really hone in on what those goals are. So that way you can go back and you can fine tune your plan. Because right now, it's a great time to fine tune your plan. There's so many things you can do to make sure that your portfolio jives with what your goals actually are. And if it doesn't, well, it's time to make some changes. Yeah, and I think that's what happened, right? We had a we had a, a market that was going up for 11 years and the stock market went down precipitously, fastest decline I've ever seen in history. So if you had a certain balance in your portfolio, the market puts you out of balance. But the biggest fear is, why do I wanna buy when it's down? It might go down further, All right? How do you overcome that, right? Well, that's where make the investment plan, make the decisions for you, right? If you have a discipline, that keeps your asset allocation in line where you know how much you have in stocks, how much in bonds, how much risk you should have, it'll make the decisions for you. <laughs> you know, We're terrible making decisions as investors, as human beings. We always wanna do the wrong thing. We wanna sell when things are down. We wanna buy when things are up. And that's not the foundation of a great investment strategy. It's really about strategy, Bob, over human emotion. You know, Ryan, that's, that's why it's so dangerous right now for a lot of couples because in every joint account relationship you and I have ever worked with, there's the uninterested spouse and then there's the spouse who runs the show. Well, that spouse who runs the show is not looking at their statements now, it's putting their head in the sand. The uninterested spouse isn't suddenly looking at the statements. So if you truly love your spouse, this is the time you gotta take action and make sure that plan's in place in case you're not around. Well, it also puts a lot of pressure on you, right? If you're the interested spouse and you're making all the decisions, man, and the market's down right now, and you're thinking about, and you have to protect your loved ones, well, that's why it's so critical to have a game plan in place that has that protection in place for your spouse too. It's not just about you and the risk that you can handle, but you gotta make sure that if God forbid something happens to you, your spouse is protected, that's huge. You know, right, that's what I love about our plans, our financial plans, because it shows you in writing what's gonna happen theoretically every year in your portfolio, you know, till the day you die. Up till then, and without this plan, without something in writing, it's your words against their fear. And that's not a way to work. And, you know, hey, that stockbroker can give you comforting calls, but unless you have a written plan, unless you could look in your drawer right now and you have a document that shows what your portfolio is gonna look like, what your financial situation is gonna look like over the next 10, 20, 30 years, you don't have a financial plan. You've got a collection of investments. A financial wish, Bob, <laughs> is probably a better uh, way to put it. Wish is not a strategy, right, buddy? Wish no, and hope doesn't work. Hey, if you're thinking to yourself right now, you know what? I need an income plan. I have to know, do I have a collection of investments or a portfolio that is built to overcome inflation, overcome the pandemic, overcome the volatility of the markets to achieve my goals and dreams, not just for me, but for my spouse, for my children, for my grandchildren. Well, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next eight callers and you saved over 500000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. We, we actually create for you your own 360 financial portal. It's like a financial GPS, you know, no different than the one you have in your car right now. It'll map out where you're going. It'll report daily on your progress of your journey to financial independence. It'll define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to all of your goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid the financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter financial plan. You know, it'll update your net worth in real time whenever you feel like looking at it. You may not want to look at it right now, but someday you will, and it's all done for you. You don't have to wait for a phone call, wait for an appointment. It's sitting there waiting for you when you're ready. This way, you'll always know where you are, and then you'll know exactly where you're going. Net of taxes, net of inflation, so you can sleep well at night knowing that all your dreams can come true. In addition, we'd like you to send your statements to us right now. You know, they're coming in the mail. I know we don't want to open them up but open them, stick them in an envelope. You can send them to us in a secure email. We can have a secure consultation over the internet. What else do you have to do right now? Let's make sure that you have a portfolio that has the three key elements of a successful strategy. Are you truly diversified? Do you have bonds that come due? Do you have high credit risk? Do you have you know, what we call junk bonds or investments that don't act as advertised. We want to look at your costs. You know, costs are something that just destroys the financial plan. We want to be certain that you're not being harmed by these hidden costs and fees that we know how to find. In addition, we want to look at your income. Income is the most important part of a financial plan, not just when you retire. If you are retired right now, your number one goal is to keep it that way. And that requires dependable, repeatable income. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money going to outlive you 
utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to four decades. Can you believe it? For 46 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your point B, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. If you're one of the next eight callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. We do everything over a video conference while you're quarantining at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot. Get a second opinion. Get a financial portal built for you to see if you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN. NYC. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show, get it in podcast form, have it delivered right to your email every single week. Simply go to bebullish.com. You can learn more about our firm, Payne Capital Management, of course, that's spelled P-A-Y-N-E, along with finding out if Bob's hair is real. Yes, Bob's hair is real, but check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. And you can catch myself, other advisors at Payne Capital Management on all the major networks, everything from CNBC, Fox Business News, Yahoo Finance, almost every week, talking about our views on the economy, on the markets. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, and we get a lot these days, you can email us directly. Simply go to questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer all your questions directly. If it's a really good question, we answer it right here on the show. And to help with questions today, we have our man, Dan Irving, to answer some of these great questions that we've been getting. How's it going, Dan? How's the quarantine life, my man? Hello there. I am in the best shape of my life, probably. I'm running every day to get rid of the uh, quarantine anxiety. Wow. How many uh, miles are you doing? Uh, like five or so. That's pretty legitimate. Man, you must be in good shape. I'm impressed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, we got some great questions today. Our first one is from Helen on Great Neck, Long Island. And Helen says, Bob, is this a good time to add money to the markets or should we wait for another pullback? You know, that's a great question because that's the, um, you know, everybody's always waiting for the bell to ring or somebody to wave a flag. We've talked a lot about that. But the real key to successful investing is to diversify your risk. Right. Risk is not something you can eliminate, is it? No, exactly right. I mean, we wish we could do that for you, but the reality of it is um, there's always going to be risk when you get invested. But just like we talked about in the other segment, really, whatever you're going to allocate to the markets, that should be a long-term investment. I think it's important to stress that. So it really shouldn't matter if the market goes up tomorrow, goes down the next day. You're not a trader. If you're an investor, it's about what are you going to do? What's the market going to do over the next five years, 10 years? Well, that's the problem I have because the advice you get when you watch the financial propaganda channels, for example, is that our people suddenly know. Now, they didn't know in February that the market was going to dive 35%, but now they know exactly what's going to happen to the market, to the economy, to when you're going to open up the stores, when you're going to be able to go to a restaurant again. I don't know how they know these things where they didn't know anything before, right? <laughs> you know, Bob, I'd love to get that crystal ball too, but you know, unfortunately mine not commissioned for about 20 years, but as long as I've been in the business. And you know, I think the other thing that's so important here, to, and we talked about this last week too, and I think we just got to amplify it, is the economy and the market are two different things. And the economy typically recovers after the market does, because the market is what you call forward looking. So you might be waiting to say, I want to see when the data gets better, the economy picks up. It's too late. Once that happens, the market typically has already recovered. So the uncertainty is actually your ally if you're getting invested for the long term, which is kind of hard to emotionally get there, but that's really how it works. See, Helen, I think you shouldn't be worrying about when should I put money in. You should be worrying about, do I have the right financial plan? Do I know exactly how much money I should have in the three-legged stool that makes up a really, truly diversified portfolio. So, Rod, what are the key legs to that stool? Well, we keep it simple, Bob. As everyone knows, you know, you got to have your equity allocation money allocated to stocks. You have to have your bonds, high quality bonds that come due, not bond funds. And then you have to have what we would call your alternative investments, things like real estate that pay income, um, you know, essentially comp- compromise it, what we would call a diversified portfolio. So, if you have a truly diversified portfolio, 
you really didn't suffer that poorly in the last 30 days because only parts of the stock market went down dramatically. Bonds didn't go down if you had high quality bonds. Growth stocks are almost at new highs. So diversification works. You can't eliminate risk. All you can do is control how you react to the risk when it's apparent. Thank you, Helen, for writing in. Our next question comes to us from Marty in Sparta, New Jersey. And Marty says, Ryan, I'm thinking about putting a large chunk of my savings into cruise ship companies. The ships will eventually sail again and then prices will go back up, right? I don't have to get rich tomorrow. I'm willing to wait a few months. Well, I appreciate your opportunistic viewpoint here, Marty. And you know, I like the idea of buying, buying low, selling high. But first off, two things. You know, we don't love just buying individual companies. We like buying the whole market because some companies are going to go bankrupt. Um, maybe some of the cruise lines make it through but we don't know that for sure. And anywhere where your downside can be 100%, I would not recommend that here. That's a very, very risky strategy. In fact, you know, you're seeing a lot of bets made right now on the airlines, the cruise lines, but that's not really prudent investing because remember, any one company can go to zero. You know, there's 10,000 publicly traded companies out there, right? Why put all your money in one basket? I learned that lesson the hard way. You know, when I worked for our former employer, Merrill Lynch, I at one point had three quarters of my net worth in that stock until my financial advisor saved me. Thank you, son. Hey, you know what? I'm still waiting for that commission. I haven't got it yet. <laughs> hey, um, wait a minute. No, you got paid commissions on those trades. It was a lot of commission that I remember. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, I wish, Bob. I don't know what you're talking about. But the other thing to think about here, too, I think is really important, is you're hearing a lot of these specialists on TV or experts in quotes talking about, you know, hey, here's the stocks you want to own right now. And of course, they're picking the stocks that are already up. Like, let's buy Zoom stock. Yeah, well, no kidding. That stock's already up. Let's buy uh, stocks that you benefit from when you're going to the grocery store, right? Grocery stocks have done well here, like Kroger. Yeah, the market already knows that. It already knows those stocks are up. So there's no gifted insight to buy the things that are doing well right now. That's not going to give you an extra advantage in the market, even though the experts love to tell you that, are healthcare stocks. Have them in your portfolio, but don't make a big bet on those things because the market already knows that those businesses are benefiting right now. The market's smarter than that. You know, one of my favorite Bob-isms, Rye, is that the market is always right. So when you try and beat the market by speculating in a cruise ship or, you know, an airline or by buying or chasing what's already up, all you're doing is you're dooming your portfolio to underperform the market because this market is smarter than everybody. There isn't anyone out there who knows more than the market because the market's made up of millions and millions of people making decisions every second of the day. I'll bring a full circle here, Bob. If you really knew, you'd own your own cruise ship. <laughs> or I'd be Warren Buffett, right? Um, <laughs> he probably does own his own cruise ship. You know, I think that's the thing that we all fail to recognize, right, is that the markets are auctions. So if you're buying, that means somebody's selling. So the person selling thinks they're selling for the right reason. And if you're buying, you think you know for the right reason. Well, you get a 50-50 shot of being right. Why not be 100% right by being approximately correct? Why be precisely wrong is what I always say. That's damn good content. All right, Rye, so let me ask you a question. On a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of being financially organized, how would you rank Helen and Marty? Oh, Bob, I don't know. We're speculating on cruise ships. We're looking to get in or out of the market. I'd say a long way to go. Sorry, three across the board. A long way to go to get their financial planning in order. They need to come to see us. Hey, Ryan's not feeling too kindly today. So how would he rank you in terms of being financially organized? Or how about your spouse? Would they give you a 10? Well, if you're not a 10, why wouldn't you want to be? Well, here's your chance. If you're one of our next four callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. Ryan and I will help you to get financially organized. We'll create your own. 360 financial portal. This is a financial GPS, not unlike the GPS that's in your car, only now we're going to map out exactly where you are financially and report daily on your progress to your journey to financial independence. It's going to define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your goals, all of your financial goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid the financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter financial plan. It'll track and monitor your progress towards your goals. In addition, it will update your net worth in real time when you feel like looking at it. You may not want to look at it today, but when you're ready, it'll be there all prepared and updated in real time so that you'll know exactly where you are financially, but most importantly, you'll know exactly where you're going and when you're going to get there. In addition, Ryan and I want to look at your statements. You may not want to open them right now. Well, just take them out of the envelope, 
scan them into our secure server. We're gonna take a look at those investments and be certain that you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. You don't wanna just have a collection of investments where you don't know what you own, you don't know why you own it. You wanna be truly diversified. You wanna be certain you don't have that dreaded bond fund without any permanence or definition. You wanna have high quality bonds in your portfolio. Your advisor may not wanna tell you, we do. We know that costs can cost you your retirement. We know how to find those hidden costs. They're in plain sight. We just know where to look. And lastly, income. Income something we all need. Once you retire, you have that income gap that needs to be replaced. That paycheck's not coming in any longer. You need income to fulfill that gap. In addition, if you're retired, you need to keep it that way. Number one way to keep retired is to have dependable, repeatable income. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, which will answer that age old question, are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money gonna outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for almost 46 years. That's right, for four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time, give us a call or text. We're doing everything over video conferencing while we're quarantining at 844. 844- 752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is your shot to get that second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next four callers or texters with over $500,000 saved for retirement while you're sitting home, we'll do a video conference at 844 844- 752-6692. Review all your finances at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to give you the most practical advice, especially in this time of volatility and turmoil and looking at taxes right now is a great opportunity. Money saved in taxes, just as green as any money can make invested. So we put together our latest guide. We'll give you five ways right now to optimize your portfolio for taxes. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Right now with all the volatility, money saved in taxes, just as green as any money can make invested. It's a great opportunity to take advantage of those taxes in your portfolio, save on them, You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show. My brother, Bob's son, financial advisor, Payne Capital Management, Mr. Chris Payne. I know, how are you, brother? I haven't seen you. I mean, seen you virtually, but I haven't seen you in uh, quite a while. I know. I miss you guys, and I can't imagine how much you miss me. Words, these are not words, Chris, to describe how much we miss you. So <laughs> I am looking forward to seeing you, man. It's been too long. Um, but this is our spotlight segment. Every week, what we do is we take a real retirement plan and we dissect how we helped a certain person or couple get on their path to financial freedom. You recently worked on a really good case. Why don't you break it down for us and explain how you helped this couple get on their path to what we call financial freedom? Sure. So the one thing that I always say to my clients, the most important thing in the world is we should always base our recommendations on a financial plan. So the very first thing we did out of the gate was we ran through a comprehensive financial plan, just got a sense of what their goals are, how much are they spending, what are they saving, and do they have enough money put away uh, for retirement based on their savings, based on spending, and based on income in retirement. And what we found out right off the bat is that they both will have really great pensions, they're both going to have Social Security in retirement. So from an income standpoint, they're going to be cash flow positive, which I think for, for anybody in retirement, that's a great relief. So Chris, we talked about this a lot on the show today. It's really about reverse engineering, right? It's not about like, hey, let me put you in this product, that product, but determining first what incomes are coming in. What are the goals? And in this case, it sounds like this couple is in great shape. They're cash flow positive just on Social Security and pension. That's amazing. Yeah, Ryan. You know, it's like I always tell people, it's like you don't, you, when you go to the doctor, they don't just hand out prescriptions. They do a ther- very thorough exam first to make sure that what they are going to prescribe you is, is curing the root cause and not just treating the symptoms. Yeah, you know, Chris, I'm really impressed by this whole plan because typically you run your projections with a little higher rate of inflation than we've had recently, which shows that the, these folks are in really good shape financially. And that's a good feeling to have. 
because having that excess cash flow allows you to do some more aspirational goals, right? You're able to factor in, you know, different things you may want to do in terms of charitable giving or, you know, educating grandchildren. Yeah. And I imagine, Chris, that you've put together their goals and where they want to go. Did the portfolio they had that they brought into you, did that match up with what their goals are? Was there a mismatch there? No, it really didn't. One, they're taking way more risk than they need to at this point. You know, the level of risk they're taking, which is not unusual for people that come to us. People usually take more risk than they absolutely need. So that was the first thing off the bat. The second thing is that they're very, very under diversified. And, you know, the one thing that I've learned from working with you and dad is that a well diversified portfolio not only will most likely generate more income, but will also perform better over time. So, you know, most of their money was concentrated in two particular areas, large cap U.S. stocks, uh, which is not atypical. But I pointed out to them that, you know, if there were another market crisis like 2008 or even now, they're going to take a massive hit. No, that's right. And I noticed in your proposal here where you put together the, the whole spreadsheet, show them where their money is actually allocated, that by just getting more strategic and building that portfolio around their goals, you're actually a- able to double the income on the portfolio uh, that they're going to get on an annual basis. And we know that income is way more reliable than the ups and downs of the market, especially right now with the market off way off the highs that we saw back in February. Yeah, well, like we say, right, you get a better outcome with income. Another thing that I noticed prior to meeting with you, they had a lot of high cost tax inefficient investments. So is that part of the overall income uh, increase that came from rearranging those investments? Yeah, absolutely. And, and the funny thing about it was when they came to us, they were very hesitant about talking to an advisor. And I asked them why. And they said that the last advisor that they worked with, if you add up all the internal costs plus that advisor's fees, they were playing, paying close to two and a half percent. So wow. they were actually very cost sensitive. And I did point that out to them. I said, look, you know, you're even now without the advisor, you're paying a lot on these internal costs. I said, we can really save you on costs. And to have an advisor, I'm going to give you a much better deal than the other person was giving you. And in turn, that's going to save you not only on uh, being able to increase the income in the portfolio, but it's also going to save you on taxes. And that's just money in your pocket. Yeah. And that's a great point too, because if you think you're not paying fees because you don't see them, that's not necessarily the case. And that's why when we run our, uh, our spreadsheet, we actually break that down. We look at the cost. So you can really see what you're paying on the internal. And that's always a surprise because you always thought, well, I didn't think I was paying any fees, but they're in there. You just have to have someone actually do the analysis and look. Yeah, it's a little dirty little secret from Wall Street. They never put the fees, the internal cost, you know, anywhere but deep into a perspective. So when you get your statement, you have no idea that you're paying for that. And, you know, the typical stockbroker will say, oh, no, well, the, you know, the investment pays for your fees. No, you pay it. It's, you know, it comes out of your return, comes out of your pocket. Well, Chris, as Bob likes to say, another financial masterpiece. Great job. And that's what it's all about. It's about managing the risk, making sure you're diversified, making sure that your portfolio matches up with your goals. And if you're thinking, that's what I need. I need to get a game plan that gets me to my goals. Well, here's your shot to do it. We still have two slots left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and Chris Payne, the Payne Boys, We'll run for you our total financial master plan while you're home quarantining, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review while you're home. We have a secure email set up. If you send us your statements, we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can view everything at a bird's eye view. Take a look. Do an audit while you're home right now. Do an assessment of everything you have to make sure you're making the best decisions. We're going to look at everything from income. We're able to double the income for this couple in retirement. That's so much more reliable in the ups and downs of the market. Do you have an income plan? How are you going to pull income from your portfolio in retirement? Or if you're retired now, we're going to show you how to optimize and get a game plan around that. We're going to look at diversification. Look, you may have gotten hit very hard here over the course of the last couple of months as the market's gone down. We're going to show you how to protect your portfolio and be proactive moving forward so you safeguard your assets in retirement and bulletproof them. And we're going to look at fees and income. There's a lot of hidden costs in these investment portfolios. Even if you don't think you're paying fees, they're buried inside the investments. We're going to show you where all those hidden costs are, show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio and optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do right now. Optimize the tax-free income on your portfolio, Roth conversions, tax swaps. There's so many ways to optimize your portfolio for taxes. Money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you can make invested. They're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, determining the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years. Take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk 
and the highest odds of success. Hey, don't miss out. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next two callers, saved over $500,000 for retirement, Rye, Chris, and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and no cost. Won't be a plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Well, another great show. Um, it's great to see both of you virtually here after uh, our for our podcast. Wish I could see you guys in person. Uh, but Chris, man, how are you making out? Are you surviving the quarantine, or what's uh, what's your quarantine secret to keep insane? Um, a lot of motivational videos, uh, a lot of exercise, and a healthy diet. You know, if we had a jacuzzi like Bob, we wouldn't eat all those things. <laughs> Yeah, but see, watch the dye out of my hair. You guys obviously are keeping your hair dyed. It's nice and dark. <laughs> Every morning. All I can say day. is it must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a second opinion. You can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out. Make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out.